Hello and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. Today we continue our way through Irithel. We will, I guess, attend our own wedding and we'll get rid of, uh, rid of Aldrich, the giant slug that eats gods. So, starting off right here, right after Pont of Sullivan, we can get out of this door. Very weird cathedral by the way like with the four doors and specifically i want to i want to see where this door leads because we can get into this building from another side from from up there um like underneath this round window thingy there is another door we can get into this building but i wonder if we can see the uh, this door from the other side as well because i can't remember it to be honest Interesting statues. They kind of look like the jailer from um, uh, from the Irithel dungeon. At least the the lower part, maybe not the upper part. But, uh, let's get out of here. <laughs> and we can <laughs> this this very shiny mountain in front of us. I don't know why why it's that that shiny right now. It looks very wet. Um, with the structure on top of it. I, I think this is supposed to be, or it is supposed to be Arch Dragon Peak, but um, of course a very, very, very low poly version or low res version of it, but I don't know. Like, yeah, Arch Dragon Peak looks a bit different. Oh well. So we are right now in the PvP hotspot during this game's prime. I don't know if it's the case right now. I don't know how many players or current players this game has on all of its platforms, but this was or still is the main PvP area. First of all, Aldrich Faithful can roam around here. They can invade you here if you're online, which means these are basically just like uh, the Farron Watchhounds or whatever it's called just in a better area or just in a more convenient area here you don't have a swamp um but this arnold londo-esque thingy right and of course this is where everyone puts down their summon sign their red summon sign to attend duels and stuff but we also have a, have the arena now i mean this was the hotspot before the p uh, before the uh ice dlc but also during that time or after the ice DLC, this was a very popular area to to make duels or yeah to make a fight. What was it called? Like um, fight club, right? That's what it's called. So to the left, we have nothing. Let's see if we can find any path. Nope. <laughs> Remember that door that goes out to the left? I guess we can now see that it leads to nowhere because look how deep it goes down there. Kind of weir weird why they even implemented a door to begin with. Or maybe it's another room. I want to look at that a bit closer. How, how deep does it go into the building? I want to know that. It's That's quite deep. I don't think... And there are windows, like why would you have windows leading into another room, right? So unfortunate that this room or that, that this door leads uh, into this uh, or down this hill, uh, like <laughs> look how deep it is, holy shit. Again, they like to build things very high up. Every building needs to be like 10 kilometers away from the actual ground on where you build it. Kind of weird platform over there. I would like to walk on that piece. Like, did they build this piece only to put some buildings on top of there? Kind of weird. But I guess they really don't like the ground itself. They like to live on their own made ground, right? Everyone in this game. Look how high up it is. You could easily make it... Like, build on top of that plateau that you, you, you see the buildings here on and not make it like that tall why even exists uh, does this tower exist uh, there is no 
I bet there is no entra entrance to this tower. How do you even get to that tower? There's no... Uh, why do I even talk about this? I mean, I know the answer already. But, oh well. And finally we can see Anna Londo from here, isn't that nice? But I kind of wish, like... Oh, I'm going to talk about this when we're up there. Kind of weird how they... How they keep building this fence against the wall. Kind of unnatural, but okay. So, what do we have here? We have a bunch of small, big giants. Or small versions of giants, like we had the big ones in the Cathedral of the Deep. However, they got in there. Uh, and then here we have, like... I guess these are the normal-sized giants, and then there are the giant giants, or whatever. But okay, let's see. Um, the door should be somewhere over here. There is no door here. Okay. Maybe... Nope. No, not over here as well. Uh, let me quickly ignore these dudes. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. Stop firing. Stop it. Don't do that. It's not nice. Okay. Up. Oh, no. Okay. So, where... Oh, it's not even supposed to be here. I was wrong. I was at the wrong point. This is not where the door is. The door is a bit to the left. Which is even worse. So the door is supposed to be there. That's clearly a door. Don't you agree? That's a door. Like... Like a door door. See, you can open this and then op the, the, the wings are going inside or outside. So, where does this thing lead to? Like it's in here. This is the part, right? This is the big part. Underneath us should be the door. Oh, there is no door. Who the f- Like, <laughs> why? I mean, the level- the, the, the buildings looked fine up to this point, and then they come up with this shit. Like, two doors leading- one leading into a fucking wall, and the other one leading, like, to your literal death. If you open that door, you fall down, like, almost a kilometer or something. And then you have a roof here. This is clearly a roof, right? This is a roof. Look at it, it's a roof. It's this reversed V-shaped roof. For what building? What? This place wasn't designed with some... With, with, like, you can't tell me that... To be honest, if you would build this game, would you be proud of this? Like, there are so many logic errors in this, it's not even funny to me. I wouldn't be proud of it. I mean, it looks good, sure. It looks amazing. But it makes no fucking sense. And when I'm building a city, I want it to look awesome. And I want it to make at least some kind of sense. Like... Huh? Please. I mean, it's not a bad level. But it's... It's poor world design, I would say. I mean, you have this awesome plaza here with the giants. Like, it would be awesome without the giants. I, I, I kind of wish they were... Like, the only enemies on this plaza are the two humanoids over there, and then two giants of them are still alive. But other than that, this is just a big plaza where you're getting bombarded from the deacons up there. It's kind of interesting. Like, um, during the Deacons of the Deep fight... We had two deacons, I think only two deacons, that had the blue robes. Like we had the Pope, who had like this yellowish garb on. And then there were like two, I think the fat dudes, that had like the, the blue, um, the blue robes. Like these over here, these are clearly like, uh, uh, Man, these sounds they're doing are just... They're extremely loud for me. This chanting, whatever... Whatever sounds they're making. I guess they're chanting their... Deep prayers. Kinda weird that they're still using fire. But yeah, two of these fat two dudes were in the Cathedral of the Deep. The rest had, like, the orange garb, I think. I think it was orange. 
sadly you can't get the blue variant. Even if they drop something, they will drop the the regular orange one, I think. Which is unfortunate. Because to be honest, this blue looks better than the orange. Uh, I hate the fact that the fireballs are staggering me. I mean, they look like whatever. They don't look like they would... Like, they don't look like the impact would be that devastating. They look like a small breeze hitting you. I mean, sure, you're getting probably some burns here and there. Probably not even that severe because it's like, like it's over very quickly. Right, uh, or maybe it's severe, I don't know, like, uh, this dude comes. <gasps> They've dodged the flattening machine. Dodge this. <laughs> maybe I should use it one-handed so for the white, wider sweeps. Well, I might want to use some pyromancy. Or maybe this lightning here. Alright, I... Mm. That's the problem with this talisman, excuse me. I need this. Right. That's the problem with this thing. It, it has combustion as the... As the weapon or the not unfaltering player... Uh, player. Yes. I mean... I am an unfaltering player when I'm using unfaltering prayer, but I guess that's the problem with melee spells. Um, you want to have the hyper armor together with them. But yeah, in the in the Cathedral of the Deep, and like Al Aldrich was there before, right? Aldrich was like he vacated to this place. He he just said like, okay. Um, the offerings you bring me are no longer there. They're not enough, right? I'm I'm going to search myself some gods or some powerful beings. Like, I guess he's getting more and more satiated. The the bigger the soul is, he's eating. That's what I'm getting from it. Because the dude, uh, the god he is currently munching on is like um um what's his name, Gwendolyn, the Dark Sun, and you can't tell me that this. This snake-legged boy raised as a girl, like, where are even the snakes coming from? That's such a weird design. Like, okay, he's a boy being raised as a girl because of moon shit and moon is more feminine, whatever. I can get behind that, but why has he snake legs or something? Like that, um... What's her name? Like this, this mythical being that I only know of because of the game Smite, you know, where you play the gods, like the girl with the with the dogs as feet or whatever, I don't know. Skilla, Skula, or something similar to that? Like is it something like this, or where do they where do they get that feature with the snake feet from? But what I'm getting at is like the soul of Gwendolyn is of course a bit bigger than the average soul. Like the average Joe isn't as hasn't a very strong soul but if you look at the if you look at Gwendolyn himself like there is not much on him like not much meat on him so I guess that's why you want to eat gods because of the soul not because of how much meat is on them otherwise he could just eat giants and that's then he's fine I guess or he could just eat, eat giants if that's if that would be the case Wakey, wakey! Oh! Oh, he didn't like that one. Yeah, if you hit them in the head, it hurts. It hurts them, not not us, but... Off of that, there's another giant over here. No, that's not the giant, that's the one. And I wanted to do a jumping attack, but I can't because you can't jump in this game. Uh, like, not with a button, you can do a running jump like... Like this, but then you're... Then you're just stopping. Yeah, that's a nice feature they had in... Or they have an Elden Ring, right? Like the jump feature. 
And even the jump feature in Drank's Dogma 2 is fine. Like, I'm playing that game currently. And I want to record it, but the, the performance is not optimal, so it, it's probably not that good. Like, I wanted to do a series where I look at the level design or, or the, the design of the cities. I, th I guess there are two big cities that I can look at, and... Um, yeah, no. <laughs> like, like it's going to be a leggy video, like, uh, like, like, what's it called? Uh, like in Lords of the Fallen. Because while I had good frames in Lord of the Fallen for myself, the recording software just suffered under that. Because it was so CPU heavy. And then in during Stockma, I even feel the lag, so or, or the stuttering and the and the low frame rate. So nope. Not going to happen until they fix that uh, that problem. But yeah, okay, I'm I'm through this part. I think I can go into into the upper part of the cathedral now to have a look at it. Or not have a look at it, loot the place and then just get out, because we've already established that this place is a um beautiful but very inconveniently built and very nonsensical built place which is unfortunate i mean imagine living in the city like you have one main street there isn't even a market your your houses are probably empty as fuck it looks very sterile you only have one big like one one big path through your city it's not very open uh, to the majority of houses you can't even get to or you have to climb over fences and stuff and, and it's just a nightmare to live there and then you have a kitchen that is adjacent to a museum or, or something whatever that is and uh, the kitchen uses poop water to make bread or to make their dishes that's just my head cannon that's that's not even my head cannon. That is the cannon for now. Like you have, who the fuck thought about this, right? <laughs> I'm going to address it. Of course, it's just a very stupid thing. Like you have a. First, you're going into the river. The river's infested with these, uh, like the mixtures of a centipede and the girl from the ring, like the ghost girl from the ring. That's what they're looking like. And then it goes into a sewer system and and you have a direct path not even an indirect path th through like a through the gutters or something like uh, no you have a staircase leading from the sewers into a kitchen huh huh like please imagine that cat uh, with the huh voiceover Please imagine that. Or if you don't know that meme, just Google "huh" and pick the and, and, and pick the video with with the cat, like one of the thousands you will probably get. But or or just type in "cat huh." It's probably right as well, right? Um, like who thought about this? I mean, it looks good, but like remember where I praised the game? Or the the world design like in in places like um the undead settlement and uh, the high wall of lothric because there the it was somewhat believable it was impressive how much detail there was in that and now we have this where they just said like how much detail what do we want to pick and in, uh, put into the facade yeah let's put a bunch of detail into the facade uh, interior design. Do we want to have any specific interior design in mind? Nope. Just put whatever in. Just just hire the dudes from Dark Souls 2 again. They did a good enough job with that. Like, <laughs> huh? They started so strong and and they're like, huh? They're they're lacking now. I guess it was too hard on them. Let's flatten the Mimic. I kind of wonder, if we have a look at the Mimic, how how does the Mimic hide the lags? How, how, how does it hide the lags? Because if you 
I mean, that mimic is dead now and there's no physical body left. It just dissolves into thin air. But where do the legs go? When it when it is a chest. Like there was like if you have a look at the chest part of the mimic, underneath where the torso is connected to the chest part, there is no hole or something. It's just solid wood or whatever it is or like and even if there was an opening like it doesn't fit in there maybe the mimic is also a pocket dimension right it has one of these uh maybe it has a black hole as a stomach right it's it's bigger on the inside than uh, yeah it's bigger on the inside and whatever maybe it becomes liquid i don't know it's a cool design though that's that's what i'm always wondering like you you see the arms coming out of there i and now i want to see a mimic again the image already faded from my memory like partially the hands are coming out of the chest right yeah so how does it even munch on you without biting their own hands oh now I need to... When is the next Mimic? Erythel Dungeon, I think, right? There is no Mimic in this area. T today we have no more Mimics, I think. Oh, that's unfortunate. Now I want to see the... Uh, <laughs> now, now you know what I want to really see. I really want to see one of the... Um, you know, when, when, when some artists make very detailed sketches of the anatomy of certain animals or something or certain creatures they create like the anatomy like their organs and something i want to see that for a mimic i want to see how a mimic works because there must be some dimensional trickery going on there Ooh. Ooh. i guess this is the longest letter in the entire game if i remember correctly I shouldn't even slide down, I, I should just slowly... You know what I find... Like, I like this letter, but I also don't like this letter. I like this letter because it looks very solid and very... Like, it looks, it's connected to, to the wall. It's a very secure and stable letter, that's what it looks like. What I don't like about this letter is that you can't really grip around these bars. And you can't really... I mean, you can get a footing on them. By the way, we're just hanging. I don't know. Nah. But you, you can't really grip around it. Right? Like, it's it's too close to the wall. So you're not very secure on the ladder. And it's that deep. It is very unsettling. Here it's better, of course. So where are we now? We are in a watery area. And we see another um, watchdog, I think they're co are they called watchdog or just dog. These weird creatures. And then we have another one. And then there's this fat fuck in the corner over there. Let's get one's attention first. Hello, doggy. Uh, the annoying thing about these dogs is when you're fighting them is their ribcage actually because if you're if you're getting to the ribcage they're staggering you sometimes it deals a little bit of damage uh, the ribcage has a hitbox i mean it kind of makes sense it's very sh sharp right come on let me see if i can nope oh don't don't bad doggy let me see if I can get them to do the special animation. But I think this weapon is too strong for that, right? How much AR do we have? Hmm. Maybe I need a weaker weapon? Or maybe a bow? Or something. Let's use a crossbow for now. 
But probably the staggering power of a crossbow isn't that good. Let's just go with, go, go overboard with things. I guess a big club or hammer. Yeah! Oh no, I did it wrong, right? Ah, shit. Mm, I think now it's dead. Need to do it with the other one. Oh no, I don't. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ugh, I don't want to stick my hand in that thing. Oh shit, it's dead. Okay, next one, I guess. Human drags, let's read that in a moment. Hello, doggy. Come on over here. Let me hit your head. Bonk. Ah! No, I was mid-animation. Don't do that. Let me hit your head. Let me hit your head. No, your head. Can I get some hype armor, please? No, I want... Good that he's interrupting me, because I only want to hit his head, but... For fuck's sake. Can I not just enable hyper armor for myself? Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. There we go. Okay. There we go. Don't die now. It's just my hand. Yeah! It's praying. I now want a pet option for that. But now we can have a look at this thing for a while. I don't know if it stands up at some point. But let's see. So, um, I want to have a look at this ribcage for now. Because is this like, it, it looks like an extra mouth. Look, we have teeth in there. So I guess it can eat you with two parts. I, I also want to see how this anatomy works, but I don't see any, like there's no throat connected to it, like it can't, can't physically eat you with that, it can tenderize you and, and rip you to shreds, I feel like, but it can't, like, like it, it, it then has to drag you to its mouth, where I guess you can, ah, uh, maybe, like in these games they don't have a throat, like it's just, solid flesh there so you don't have to model the black hole so maybe that's the case with this one too but where would you put the where would you put the like the throat part more up there or more in the, more in the middle or probably up there so you can digest it with the stomach right which should be around this somewhere where the arms are probably Also, I wonder how the eyes are glowing. They're burning. They're literally burning. And it has like six eyes, I guess. Ah. Let's euthanize this one. Oh, deep gem. Kind of cool creature design. I really like that. But let's see where we are, because we're in a very, very strange place. Why do you even allow people to walk down here? Because it is your water reserve. This is what people are supposed to drink. And you know where I have been with this character before here? I went through a sewer. And I probably have the blood on my boots from... Every creature that I've slain so far, I was in a poison swamp. Yeah. I'm contaminating your water. And then let's see what this fat fuck has to offer us, because he is kinda dead. You see, you do. It's not even. Like, there is not even blood or a mushy sound coming from it, it's just. At least this is not a sound like this. <laughs> but yeah, he kind of looks dead. And fat. 
But we can pray to Archdeacon McDonnell. Ah. Very close to McDonald's, right? Um, but yeah, we can join his stupid covenant and then invade other people in this area by uh, equipping the covenant thingy here. Maybe I should get this one. So... I mean, there is no downside, honestly. Like, I can... I can be in every covenant there is, I guess. Or maybe not. Uh, I don't know. Here. Aldrich Faithful. The holy symbol of the Cathedral of the Deep. Uh, probably for most people, like the unholy symbol. And crest of those who see beyond fire of the age of deep waters. Who see beyond fire to the age of deep waters. Sorry. Equipped to pledge oneself to the Aldrich Faithful Covenant. The faithful ensure that Aldrich, devourer of gods, remains undisturbed by taking the form of loyal spirits and hunting down those who would trespass the ruined cathedral. Summoning takes place automatically while this equipped. Uh, while this is equipped, sure. So, yeah, these are the defenders. Like uh, the blue version are the followers of uh, Aldrich. And I guess there were two, or there are his henchmen, his his followers, and also his guards. Even though I kind of wish they had some more physically capable guards, like who have a big shield and a spear or something like not not just clerics or deacons, I guess, but more uh, combat like. Everyone needs their guard, right? And you don't want to have a bunch of mages as, as guards. Like, a few are fine, but not all of them. That makes for a very, very bad um, dynamic in your in your party or something, right? If you have all the same. You want to have a variety in your defense. Like the Lothric, Lothric dudes. Like, they have sword and shield. They have spear and uh, shield. They have giant sword. Even the giant sword dudes, they 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 all can uh, they can buff their weapons, so they have a bit of magic, right? Or I guess uh, they are miracles, but still, it's still some kind of magic. Ultimately, it achieves the same goal of making something more powerful or something, like right? buffing yourself defensively or offensively. Doesn't matter. It all enhances you, and I guess I keep this un, uh, unlimited iframes on for the next part so that I'm not getting shot from the roofs or from, from the rafters, because we're now in a very, very famous, or this is now a very famous enactment or replica of the original Dark Souls. Because if you remember in the original Dark Souls, they're very iconic in there, all right, the deacons are back. Because I rested at the water reserve, but in the water reserve. I rested in the water reserve. I probably pooped in there as well. Um, but I mean, they're already used to drinking poop water, I guess, from that one kitchen and that one... Uh, whatever. Um, what was I getting at? Right, this is like the very famous part in Arnold Londo from Dark Souls 1, where you have these two Silver Knight archers shooting at you. While you have to navigate a very, very uh, small, let's call it a bridge. It's not really a bridge, but let's call it a bridge for the sakes. And then there's uh, death everywhere near you, right? You, when, if you fall, you're, you're, you're dead. It's too deep. It's too, I mean, there are kill boxes everywhere, but, right? And you have the same thing over here as well. Oh, look, one is already shooting at me. And these arrows are even quicker than the one in the ones in Dark Souls 1. But to be fair, this game is also very quick in comparison to Dark Souls 1. Like, not even these arrows move faster, but you're also moving faster. And these are slightly curving, I think. Yeah, look at that. He's shooting right at my position. You can see it right now, right? It should impact there. We have a look. He always should shoot at the same location when I'm not moving. So he's aiming at this position. Now we hear the shot, and all of the sudden the shot lands here. You know? 
the moment he loosens his arrow, the arrow should fly somewhat straight, right? But no, it's tracking me. Which I don't like. I don't appreciate this tracking, these tracking capabilities of non-magical arrows. You indeed have, I don't, but uh, you can indeed buy dark arrows and they have a target seeking property to them, which is very nice. I mean, it's not ultra good tracking, but they slightly track their target because I guess they're similar to humanity where they're seeking out life or something like this or heat seeking missiles. But yeah. Now we're walking up the same path. We still have these statues, so very similar to the ones in the cathedral. Probably the same ones, just smaller. Silver Knights, we already know them from other games. So from... Were there Silver Knights in Dark Souls 2? No, they weren't. Dark Souls 2 did their own thing. Or did its, its own thing, whatever. Oh, we got the Easterners. Oh, I wanted to read the drakes. Why didn't you remind me? You're not very attentive, are you? Um, human Drax, this thing, kind of looks like a slug, but also kind of looks like a, a spirit or a, a figure, maybe in deep water. I guess it's uh, like just looking at the picture. It kind of looks, and I guess that's what it's supposed to look like, like a human. Yeah, like you have the, right, I have a mouse, I can, you can see my mouse, yeah. Uh, this part is the head, and this is the torso, and like their legs are slightly bent, like they're sitting almost, or floating. And it, it looks like they're floating in deep water, right? They're floating or they're sinking to the ground of, of a very deep lake or ocean part or whatever. Let's read it. Proof of a duty fulfilled by the Aldrich faith Faithful. Uh, who patiently await the devourer of God's return. Drex are the heaviest thing with it, the human body. Again, weird formatting. And will sink to the lowest depth imaginable, where they become the shackles that bind this world. A very... I wonder if it's like literal. I mean, it's, it's the, the heaviest thing with it, the human body, and this is why they're sinking to the lowest depths. That's kind of feasible, but what do they mean by where they become the shackles that bind this world? Not that bind to this world or something, that bind this world. Um, I wonder what's what they mean by world. They're probably not meaning the literal world we're standing on, more like a world of a... Uh, I don't care. <laughs> I do care, but... Whatever. Don't think too hard about it. Just keep smacking enemies, like in Bloodborne. Don't think too hard about it, just, just kill a few beasts. All that religion and belief systems in this game. I really like that topic. But... Like what I'm doing right now is like, I don't have the full picture in front of me. It's very, um, if you're not reading that hard into it and also some real life beliefs, it's kind of like, I'm, gonna pick, I'm, I'm picking up scraps, right? I'm, this is a small tidbit of lore, right? I'm picking up the scrap. I mean, it's called drag, but I'm picking up these these small small scraps, and together they form a bigger picture. But what happens to me right now is, like, I've read this thing before, I've read that thing before, but when I'm reading this thing, I've already forgotten the thing that I read before that, right? Like, I never have the full picture in my mind because I'm forgetting things, and I really need to have them in front of me as a... <sighs> as a whole catalog so that I can so that I can get to the final conclusion ultimately right and then, then I'm very nitpicky what do they mean by 
uh, they become the shackles that bind this world. Do they mean the literal world of Dark Souls or do they mean... Um, how do I describe this the best? The shackles that bind this world like more like the people in the world probably like not the physical objects in here this stupid building is not being bound by by uh, human drag it's also very important that it's called human drags right this is something that humans have in the in them not uh, not gods may maybe gods but not gods but no giant it's something that only humans have and it almost feels similar, similar, not the same, but it feels similar to humanity, really. But, but different. Because if we have a look at the spells, right, uh, that I don't have right now, but there are also these, these deep spells that if I would um, collect more of these, I mean, I mean, fuck it, I can... I can do it right now. Let's let's no um, no. Nah. Let's wait until I'm at the next bonfire. Because we're almost through with this part of the area. When I guess longer episodes are good for people who wanna who wanna just listen to this as a podcast or something then occasionally look at the screen. This is how I would watch my or consume these videos. Like I would either do this while, while falling asleep as a uh, as something to fall asleep to or I would watch it while I'm, while I'm doing something else, right? That doesn't require my full attention. Something like whatever painting for example. <laughs> Like imagine I'm painting and then, then then I would just watch this video on the side while while doing stuff, listening to it just as a background noise. And I guess if you really wanna mm, I should probably tone down my excitement sometimes. For the people who are watching this as a or listening to this as a a falling asleep thing, but I guess you can just turn uh, tune down the volume and then that's it. Because I definitely can get a bit heated or excited or sound excited or something. I guess that's not that's not bad. That's not a bad thing. What is a bad thing is this whole area here. Like this jumping part is or this jumping down part I don't really enjoy it because you have to backtrack and like where where's the fun in backtracking if there's nothing new to see there really like i have to run up here again and, and stuff like that's that's not a fun thing i mean i could have taken the shortcut which isn't really a shortcut to be honest only if they the enemies are still there but what i'm i can already do this right now right um let me quickly grab the helper where is it where is it where is it um uh, big list. Last goods used? No. Holy shit, where is it? Hmm. Is it ID helpers? No, that's something different. Eh. Last good use, not used, highlighted. Last stackable item highlighted. There we have it. Okay. Now I'm rolling it. So highlight this shit. Uh, then click on the quantity and just make it like 50 or something. And then I have like 50 of them. Drop one so it's getting updated. And now I have 50 of these. And in a short time I'm going to deliver them to McDonald's. Uh, I'm, I'm going to... Hey, Mr. McDonald's there, the clown that is down there, uh, Ronald McDonald or whatever his name is, uh, and then I'm order ordering a cheeseburger or something, I don't know. But it's time to attend my wedding, my wedding, yes, my, my very German pronounced wedding. Uh, 
Did I do something wrong? Where's my where's my wedding? Huh? Huh? Where? What did I do wrong? Like I've met on Andre in the in the uh, in the church thingy, and I've uh, I haven't I have not killed um, the the pilgrim. The pilgrim was still alive. I just did the mimic thing in front of him or her, whatever. Where where wedding? I want to get married, hello, to a corpse, I guess. Which is very weird, to be honest, but... Where? Where? Did I do something wrong? I don't believe I did something wrong. Like, I've exhausted her dialogue, like Andre's dialogue. I didn't reveal the pilgrim. I didn't kill the pilgrim. Hmm. What a big disappointment. Kind of reminds me of the meme with the with the monkey. Like the wife good monkey meme, whatever. I hid wife, wife left me sad or something. Well, whatever it goes, I don't know. Kind of reminds me of that. Where? Is it because I'm invincible? Is the probably eh? has nothing. To, I don't think it has something to do with cheat engine, right? Because, nah, they're not physically killing Henri, right? Like they're they're unloading her from the game, and then has nothing to do with in invincible iframes. She doesn't need to physically die in the game, like like from a programming perspective not from a law perspective a programming perspective right they, they have programmed her that she physically dies when i'm somewhere in the world so that where pilgrim give, give me pilgrim where where nothing here what what's that Okay, good. Huh. Well, let's get this stupid ring that is completely useless. Why would you even want to have this ring, by the way? Oh, I know what's... Ah. Uh, Back to the bonf shrine, bonfire, whatever. Firelink shrine, that's what it's called. Yuria, I need to talk to you, I think. I think that's the thing that I need to do. Oh, hello, Grey Red, you're back. Glad that Sigurd could save you. Oh, then we're both safe and sound. Thank the gods for that. I don't like getting things so close. I might have died if it wasn't for that peculiar onion knight. But in the end, it all paid off. Take a good look. They're sure to be of some use. I think Grey Red's, Grey Red dies in the sewers. When he dies there, when, when he dies in Iritha. So probably uh, the the ring centipede ladies get, get him. I wonder if Sigurd was just taking a dump or something in the sewers. Why he was like recovering from his um, bad stomach that he had from that poop soup that he just consumed um, and he saw grey red in, in dire need of assistance that's that's not my head cannon oh we got this very powerful sword over here Lothric knight uh, great sword that's that's a good thing that that's a that's a very strong very strong one indeed we also have these Moonlight Arrows. Let's read them. Magical Arrows said to have been used by the Dark Moon Knights. 
imbued with a silver light, these arrows inflict magic damage. It is said that long ago the gods of the Dark Moon, uh, Gwendolyn, wielded these arrows with a matching golden bow. Yeah, good. Goodbye. Oh, this place is. <laughs> Nothing special, really. And I didn't get rid of the. Well, the dark sigils are still there. And the hollowing is still there. Hello. Speak thy desire, honorable lord of our lord and liege. Knowest thou of a maid named Anri? Yes. She is hollow. Yes. And will join thee in wedlock. Oh, how nice. A fellow of mine guides her at this moment. When the time is ripe, thou mayst make thy salutations. Okay. For what lord taketh no spouse? Ah, great good tidings that the girl awaits thee oh, in the hidden oops, dark sorry. moon chamber of Anor Londo. So thou mayst a true monarch become. I mean, your wording is kind of weird, but yeah. Till we meet again, may the dark sigil guide thee. I mean, you don't need to swap just some words to make it seem your language is weird or whatever. Okay, now um, go to the uh, to the water reserve and and do the deep shit first. The deepest lore, literally deep, very deep in the wrong wrong direction, very deep in the soul of a once per or the, the whatever. Hello, why do I even kneel? In front of this McDonald's thing. There you go. Give me stuff. Thank you. Goodbye. Never coming back. Um. Here we go. That's how we get this shit. Um. There, great deep soul uh, sorcery, which uh, improves up. Huh? Sorcery. Which improves upon deep soul. What does it even mean? Fires powerful darkened soul drags. Archdeacon McDonald's, a sorcerer himself, delighted in the cathedral's stagnating souls. For him, they represented uh, the glorious bedrock of this world. Uh, glorious bedrock, of course, bedrock. Uh, very 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 deep down basically the end of the world okay um okay they represented it from him for for him so okay yeah they kind of act like humanity in the sense of that they're homing that's just what i mean it's a, it's a homing missile it's a very strong homing missile and it has this watery explosion to it like the deep soul attacks have this watery explosion to that like they ex they're exploding in a more viscousy state, I would feel like. Um, like how I would imagine this deep soul to feel like. Imagine you could touch it. Why do I even go this way? Then it would probably feel like a um, very viscousy, watery substance. I would I would think like a very very thick water. But I want, uh, I'm getting I'm getting stuck on cables here. Uh, okay. No. Ah, shit. No, no, no. Get back up here. The like, crew thought this rotating staircase was a good idea. It's a terrible idea. Why is it even broken off here? Why is it not whole? It doesn't need to touch this part, you idiots. Do you know how a drawbridge works? Imagine the parts of the drawbridge were too long and they would grind on each other, literally, like, uh, or overlap each other, try to, like, in an unhealthy way, that is. Right? <laughs> so that they're breaking off. Like, the, the person who, who made it, like, um, did you... 
were the measurements correct? I don't know. What do you mean? I don't yeah, I, I don't think it's that important that the measurements are correct, like if it fits roughly then it's right, it's fine, right? No you idiot, it's not. It's very important that your measurements are precise. There she is. Hello. Welcome, our gracious lord. Your spouse awaits you. You are very near. Please take the sword of a vow. May you be the truest lord of Londor yet. Oh, well, there are multiple lords, that's what she mean means. There's no sword in your hands. Okay, what, any intra instructions? What do I need to do with the sword? Your spouse may... Okay. How do I know what to do with it? Maybe there is an instructional letter sticking to this thing. Ceremonial Sword of Londor cannot be equipped as a weapon. Thanks for telling me. I don't want to equip that thing either because from cut content we know that you grip the sword in the circle part. Like if I had to use the sword as an actual sword, I would grip it at the very top you see in the picture and not inside the circle because then I don't have full range of motion with my hands. I would be stupid and I couldn't fully align the blade because I always would grip at an angle because of the the ring is getting in the way of my wrist but it's a ceremonial sword so who cares it is said that a that it is said that a rite of wedlock will presage a true hollow lord your spouse's name is Henri, who patiently awaits a rightful lord deep within the mausoleum. How do I know how to use that thing? No one gave me instructions. What, what do I need to do? Like, okay, I got a sword. Do I need to give it to her? But she is not even alive. What do you mean? She's lying there. Like, what, 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 what kind of sick wedding is that? Let's have a look at her. We can't see her face, right? Oh, helmet removed, so uh, okay. What, what do I need to do? What? I need to plunge it in her head? That's kind of... That's a weird wedding. Meh, just a regular hollow head, I guess. Okay, let's see. Rite of avowal. Somehow we know how to perform this rite. No instructions whatsoever. I've never done that before, but apparently I know what to do. No, that's not how you grip the sword, dude. Okay, how do I know that I need to plunge it into her head? That's not a sound that I would. My helmet is glitching through the. Uh, I did. I chose the wrong helmet. Chose the wrong helmet. Ooh, what is this? What is this purple fog now? I wonder. What is it doing? What, oh, oh, it's corrupting my character. How do I know how to how to do this? Can someone explain that to me? Oh, I got more dark sigils. Great. Oof. Like I'm wondering, like. Was she dead there, or did they, did the pilgrim kill her? Because if they did, then she is also unkindled. She should just respawn like me. Or does it? Maybe the respawning takes time, and we never notice it how long it takes. Maybe it's not instantaneous, and there is a, there is a proper window of time where you're just lying on the ground as a corpse or maybe she was just sedated with like a magic spell or something like the kidnapper spell or something like that oh chameleon yeah I, I, I did that with a branch of a tree because branches of trees can apparently do that 
Um, but yeah, lots of speculation you have to do with these games, which is fine. Which is the fun part, to be honest, right? The speculating and the the the. Um, what is it called? Uh, not a treasure hunt, is it? Like in German, it's Schnitzeljagd. You're basically hunting a, a schnitzel. Or just like a. Uh, what what is it called? A a. Uh, Wait, wait, wait! You fry. It, it's a, it's a fried piece of meat, right? You, you know, with, with, with no panko. What, what is it called? Like breadcrumbs, whatever. Or is it a treasure hunt? It's like where you're going to one thing, then you're getting next clue. You're getting to going to the next clue. You're. F uh, like you're going from clue to clue that ultimately at, at the end leads you to your net, to your prize, something like that, right? So you're doing basically that. Why did I go up here? I could just teleport up here. Right. What what I want to do is I wanna uh, I wanna do some magic and walk on the air because apparently you can do this in this game. That's some that's some crystal cave shit right here. I wonder. Hmm. Hmm. I don't want to try. What the fuck is that? That looks weird. What is that? Where is that? Oh, that's the. Is that a garden? Th no, not the garden thing, but. No, that's here. Oh, we never visited visited that place. I think. No, we did. Is it where the screeching dudes are? No, we... Hmm. Ah, uh, don't do a big step. <clears throat> that always looks strange when you drop down here. Because it looks like you would fall a bit deeper. Ah, uh, well, we have this... creature here. I don't... Name thyself, stranger. No. I am Yorshka, captain of the Dark Moon Knight. What beckoned thee to such a place? I have no idea. Let's, let's do the too. gesture. Very well. Captain to this nightless company I remain. Now you have at least one follow. I will grant thee purpose. Okay. You have a tail there. You know that, right? And your arms Thou's are very thin. Far. Hear my voice. I've heard that... No. If thou shalt swear by the Covenant to become a shadow of Father Gwyn and Sister Guinevere, a blade that shall hunt the foes of our lords, then I place thee under the aegis and the power of the Dark Moon. Sister Guinevere? But wasn't that, uh... It's not her sister? Thou art now a blade of the Dark Moon. The only knight of our company. Swear this oath and face thy solemn duty. Isn't isn't Guinevere the 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 uh, what's it called? Isn't she like Gwyn's wife? Or am I mixing things up? That's not her sister. Like she she isn't she like uh Yoshka, isn't that like uh Priscilla's daughter or something? Or is that another half-breed here? Like, wh 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 which strain did that again? Why does she sound like she has breathing problems? Like she's very... like, like her breathing is very... Um, uh, sounds labored or something. But you can see she has also like... Uh, these weird growths. These tendrils coming from her neck and then uh, left, left and right to her eyes. She has these uh, dragon aspects and of course the tail and she's very tall and uh, her garments are glitching through the... How do you even sit down on that chair? Is there like a, is there like a hole for the tail or something? It's all, I always wonder that. Imagine like... If we still had tails, or if, if the humans had tails, like, imagine how many things would 
have to be different. Like how many like chair chairs either have holes in them, so you can stick the tail through it, or uh, they don't have uh... ah shit. Mm. Oh, for fuck's sake! Or you don't have like you 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 can't rest. No, what was it called? Backrest, whatever. Or oh, it's just 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 a. Whatever. Let me get that now. <laughs> let, me, let me get that item now. Come on, where is it? Uh, no, really, where where is it? Was it here? Oh, it was here. Hello, is that the armor set? No, nope, that's the sword. Armor set is further down, I think. This one? Yeah, painting gun and stuff. And there's just a soul item down here, if there's even anything. No idea. No. no. I'm pretty sure that's... Like I was thinking, or I was thinking it about that a f few times now, but... Or actually, like, the, the whole Dark Souls... D during the whole time Dark Souls even exists, so like... Why are items depicted as souls? Because sometimes it's a sword, sometimes it's a sword. But it's probably just for gameplay purposes, so they don't have to create a new... Uh, a new something every time they're... they they want to depict an item. So what did we just get? We got the Covenant thingy that we can read over here. Dark Moon. A Blade of the Dark Moon. A silver pendant depicting the Dark Moon and a sword. The Crest of the Dark Moon Knights, uh, the or original Blue Sentinels, equipped to pledge oneself to the Blade of the Dark Moon Covenant. When a member of the Way of Blue faces a Dark Spirit, the Blades of the Dark Moon, by an ancient accord, help to root out the invader. Summoning to uh, nothing, not not that much lore here. Um, painting guy, I don't care. Where is the painting? Like the. The building is gone. There, there is no more painted world. Or maybe they put that painting somewhere else. And there's a... Huh. Like, I wonder where the rest of the painting of Ariandel is. Because, like... If you're getting into the painted world of Ariandel, you're getting sucked in by a small piece of the painting. Or maybe that's just the last remaining thing, and then... Ah, uh, we're getting there. I'm, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. This is something for a different, different, different episode. But it's still wandering, like... And then inside there, the, the girl that ins it's, it's inside there is painting a new... a new painting. To live inside, I guess. Because that one is, like, rotten. Or whatever. Mm. Honestly, that's better this way. I don't like getting staggered right now because I feel like talking and not like playing right now. So I'd rather talk than play. <laughs> um, Alright, there was this one thingy that I could st could read, right? Or oh, actually two thingies. Uh, we got the golden ritual spear that we found in the... that the mimic dropped. A ritual spear presented to Dark Moon Knights before Sullivan claimed the title of Pontiff. It can also be used as a self sorcery is cast using this weapon channel the weirdest faith, don't care. Boring. Not much lore. Next. Archdeacons, great stuff. We've never seen some archdeacons use this. They've all, 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 always used their candlestick, I think, right? Large staff bestowed upon archdeacons of the Cathedral of, of the Deep. The archdeacon McDonald's uh, trespass. Was what? Uh, the archdeacon McDonald's. 
trespass, the sin of channeling faith or sorcery, transformed what was once merely a symbol of uh, some authority into a catalyst of sorceries. Ecclesiastic. Oof. So what is this now? Uh, okay, this thing needs faith and is a is a staff. Okay, good. Get it now. Yeah, requires faith. Has faith screening. Requires faith and so uh, and and intelligence. I wonder what I wonder why there's this one red knight, uh, red-eyed silver knight. I wonder what's what the red eyes are doing. I mean, they kind of remind me of the of the pass of man thingy because they also have red eyes. So maybe they are possessed by some of the pass thingies. What even are the pass thingies? Like the pass creatures, the black masses. Don't even know what they're supposed to be. There's so many seemingly new concepts. Like we have the deep now. Before that, we only had like uh, we only had like the abyss and humanity and stuff. Now we have the deep soul. It's another part of religion. But apparently, if enough people believe in it, it, ex it exists in this game or whatever. I don't know. It's some kind of belief system, and it's also some kind of sorcery, and uh, what, what the... Uh, or... Um, whatever his name is. Oh no, the slime again. Like, I kind of wonder, we have Aldrich's slime here everywhere in the, in, in the cathedral, right? Um, like, at some point, he migrated from the Cathedral of the Deep to this place. At some point, he migrated. And I like that they've repaired the the window. He may, wouldn't that be such a cool easter egg where you can destroy one of these windows and obtain something? Right, because you remember in Dark Souls 1, this was, like, there was a... The window was broken and you can could get the Dragon Slayer Great Bow. Uh, let's see. Uh, hey. I wish you would you, you could take fall damage. Um like, at some point he migrated to this place, he didn't just teleport to this place, so... I wonder who cleaned up after him. Because if he... Like, look how many... How, how much sludge there is, or slime, whatever this is. Like, excretions, his literal shit and whatever. His soup. His forbidden soup. Then, like, who cleaned after him? Like, this place is not clean, sure. And again, I, I still want to know, what are these slimes? Are these, are these like, parts of Aldrich's... Like, are, are they... When they fell off of him, like, they fell off of him at some point, and then they developed their mind, or... Of their own, or is this... Or are these literally other people that... Uh, that cannibalized enough people to become small, small sludges, basically. I still want to know. I like the idea more that these are literally other people that also started eating people and then started becoming like Aldrich. I also like to believe that Aldrich at some point started off as a small slime. Or maybe a slightly bigger one because like he probably was a bigger guy to begin with at some point, or from the beginning, he was a big bigger, bit bigger. Because that's usually the case with in, uh, with important figures, right? I 
except with Ludlith, but I suspect there is some dark, like Ludlith has some dark history or has a dark history as well. Because while he looks weak and he can literally, he knows of the art of transposing or like changing the soul into weapons. Which in and out of itself sounds like a very forbidden and dark art. But let's not talk about that yet. Or maybe do. I'll talk in the comments about everything that I'm about anything that I'm I'm talking here as well. Like I'm 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 going wild. I'm not sticking to one concept, I'm just going back and forth between everything because I don't know. No, I do know. Because at the moment when I'm talking about it, it interests me. But the sad thing is, you can't really answer right now, right? Because it's it's delayed. Maybe I should start streaming. <laughs> but what do I stream then? I don't want to play the same game over and over again. And I don't want to play for that long, like... If I would start streaming, like, I would just stream for, like... Two or three hours at max, probably. Maybe at some point, but I don't know what. Ah, come on, let's get rid of these things. Ah, they're all gone, it's time for the big sludge, who is still munching on, um, see it's red, orange, whatever. This stupid color. Not the blue one. I want the blue one, that looks better. What does it say, by the way? Hey, I wanna... <sighs> there. Robe worn by deacons of the Cathedral of the Deep. The deep red pigment denotes the blessing of fire in time those dedication uh, in time those dedicated to sealing away the horrors of the deep succumbed to their very power it seemed that neither tending to the flame nor the faith could save them uh, okay so i guess Like, there were just a few people doing stuff or believing in stuff, whatever. Uh, doing something with these horrors of the deep. And then there were people who were against that shit and tried to seal it away. And then by being in contact with it too long, they got interested or they got corrupted by the deep itself and then they just turned to the deep eventually themselves. I wonder who started that deep shit. Holy God, what my Archdeacon of the Cathedral of the Deep. Uh, highest rank, blah blah blah. Archdeacons of the Deep who stood over Alger's casket. Yeah, okay. Nah, he's not coming back. He likes to eat gods here. Uh, what was I wearing before that thing? When can I get Iron Tarkus's things? Uh, we got some ashes as well, and a coal. Excuse me. First, the Eastern ashes. Uh, Umbral ash. What? It, it's a hand. Umbral ash of an armed merchant from an Eastern land. Surely, the handmaiden of Firelink Shrine can turn this into a few new things. Uh, the merchant, the captain of a clan of hunters, was fascinated with weaponry. Yeah, okay, this was Shiva of the East. Um, why was he in this play? Uh, probably to collect weapons, it says it right here. Uh, still, uh, still, I have this shit covered things. I have the Firekeeper soul that I forgot to read. Soul of a Firekeeper who is said to have returned from the Abyss. Uh, this firekeeper preserves the bonfire and served its champion. She is said to have soothed and accepted the dark sigil, which has tainted her soul. And yet her soul will one day embed itself in the bosom of another firekeeper. Or not. Uh, kind of interesting, like... Uh, returned from the abyss. 
That's a feat. And then uh, she has said to soothed and accepted the dark sigil. Oh. I wonder who that was. Uh, giant's coal. Coal used to craft weapon infusions. Uh, used for weapon infusions. It is said that the giant blacksmith of Anna Londo was once the blacksmith of the gods. Gift to the blacksmith in the shrine to allow the use of gems for lightning, simple and chaos infusions. Yeah, okay, nothing special here. Uh, kind of boring, come on. Uh, let's defeat this thing. And let's have a look at this thing. Uh, hello. Look at this area, look at this sludge in here. Let's see what we find here. Okay, we have some bones down there. Stop shooting at me, Simon. Uh, we have we have some sludge going on here. I, I wonder why it's flowing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, that's loud. Please let me turn down the volume a bit. Because wanna, I, I want to hear myself um, talking. Otherwise, I can't concentrate on what, what I'm saying. If I don't know what I'm saying, I can't really hear myself. So, please stand still for him. No, you don't. I want to have a look at you. Ah. At Aldrich, not at Gwendolyn. Because I guess we need. Uh, he is currently partially eating Gwendolyn. I guess he started with, it, with his snake feet. Stop! Stop! Stop that! Ah. Stop fleeing, Mr. Sludge. But I want to have a, this, a, the sludge part. Um, because he's some kind of worm, he can. You know what he kind of looks like? Somewhat. He, he kind of looks like the... The worm of... Like the, the sandworm of Carthus or whatever it's called. He has a resemblance to it. Because... Um, when I had to create the thumbnail for the Smoldering Lake uh, video, I had to respawn the worm to, to create that thumbnail. And I could have a look, uh, could have a better look at his his design again. And he also had this this outer rib cage, just more pronounced, with these with corpses inside of them. And if Aldrich could stop fucking off every time, I guess I need to... I guess I need to bring him in stage 2, so he's a bit more... Um, happy to attack me with, uh, like, his physical, physical attacks. But he looks very... Uh, somewhat similar to that. A bit different, though. Uh, like, his ribcage is reversed. Like, while the Carthus worm had the... Had his spine, let's call it a spine, um, on the top, and then the ribs were facing downward. It's kind of uh, the opposite here, where you have this, where you have these bones, or what look like bones, they're coming from the ground up. So it's kind of reversed, and these are not as, um, like the spacing between Aldrich's ribs. They're not really ribs, but I just call them ribs. Is is a bit more random and and sporadic. Can he? I wish he. I, I kind of wish I could turn off his AI for this, and I probably can, but I don't know where. What I could do is get out of the boss arena by teleporting out of there, and then then just. I think teleporting myself in here. But yeah, what I wanted to say, like Aldrich is this part, like this. It's kind of interesting. Uh, because these things that are coming out of his face, I guess his face is where the body of Gwendolyn ends, right? Because he's. Like, he's currently eating him. Like he's not done eating, I guess. But um, there are these roots 
or this this like if you if you have a look at this root material that looks like hair or whatever then we see it's the same or it has a similar look to are these maggots Ugh, they're worms Ugh. Ugh. um but they they look identical or similar to the one that um pontiff solomon got his wings made out of like when he uh, switched into phase two pontiff solomon he got these root like wings and we also saw them slightly uh, for example at mcdonald he had roots coming out of his eyes or his eye sockets and I think we even see that with some of the deacons, maybe, maybe I'm wrong there, but they also, like, grow these roots out of their faces. But uh, the cool part about Aldrich is, um, he's not really, he's not really fighting us. I mean, he is fighting us, don't get me wrong, but he's utilizing Gwendolyn more than every other thing uh, like as you can see like Gwendolyn is fighting uh, he uses his bow attacks like the rain he's using some kind of uh, magic that's all coming from Gwendolyn what is also interesting is his staff I guess this, uh, this was Aldrich's staff I don't think like, maybe that's the same thing that I have right now. Could it be? Uh, nah, nah. Probably not. It's a different stuff, kind of stuff, I think. But. The. I need a freeze frame for that. Holy shit. What's the. I wanna have a look at the. It doesn't matter. Uh, the cool thing is, what I'm wondering, right, um, if we have a look at this glowing thing, like his spell that he applied to the staff to make a blade out of it, because it's not an actual blade, right, it's a... Yeah, right here, now he turned it into a scythe, and by the way, he turned it into the life hunt scythe, which lets me think that he already ate Priscilla. Huh? Like he ate her as well, maybe absorbed her power by that doing that. And then what's the most interesting thing is, you know what weapon that is? Uh, that spell that he casts currently with his stuff. It is Nito's sword, or it's the blade part of Nito's sword. So I also wonder if he also ate Nito. Wouldn't that be wild? So basically... Like, let's just assume he did all of that. He ate all of these... All of these gods. Shouldn't he be... Shouldn't he be then stronger? Like, shouldn't he be like... Maybe the second last boss almost? In power, or at least in power level, shouldn't he be the... Second strongest enemy that we fight? At least in the base game. Because this one is basically... It's Aldrich. He was probably... Like... I mean, he managed to... Eat some people, so that probably... Like, they probably... Don't want to get eaten, right? So... He could at least get rid of some people. Before he started snowballing, right? Then he ate... Let's say he ate Nito. Which is, by the way, one of the four lords. Or maybe he just ate one of Nito's followers, which is kind of lame. I like the idea of him eating Nito and thus creating the sword. Basically making his stuff a glaive. Then the life hunt scythe attack that he just did from Priscilla. And who is using magical projectiles? Gwendolyn, of course. 
I, I guess they just look different in this game just for the sakes because they look better now. And then he's also using Gwendolyn's bow. So he should be a very powerful being, but it's not really depicted. I mean, don't get me wrong, he's a fairly challenging boss fight, especially if you're... because it kind of feels like a damage race, right? In his second phase, this attack that he's doing right now is very problematic, like... I'm, I'm getting hit sometimes, I would have get hit sometimes now. It's not fully tracking you, like at some point it's just giving up with the tracking and you need to be a wave. Like when he starts that attack, you need to you need to run for your life, otherwise it's just it's over with you. That's probably his strongest attack to be honest. Like if that attack didn't exist then he would have been a pushover. But yeah, let's get rid of this slug. This power stealing slug. Okay. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, what do I want to do? Right, I want to turn up the music again. Or the, the sound. I guess the music is loud enough. Um. Let's activate this thing. Here we have Gwyn, here we have Gwynevere, here we have no one. I could have put some of his children there, I guess. Uh, oh no, this elevator is faster. Ooh, that... The, the spiral looks kind of sharp. Imagine accidentally falling against that thing while it's, while it's spinning, while it's lifting. It's going up or down. It's cutting you. Oh, that would be nasty. And then you're probably also getting squished by that thing at some point, at least when it comes down again. Isn't there supposed to be an armor set over here? Did I miss it? Or is it not, not just here yet? Huh? Doesn't matter. Oh no, the illusion of, of her is gone. Who would have thought? Give me that. Very good ring, restores HP, I really like that ring, it's one of my favorite ones. I like HP regeneration if you haven't figured it out yet. Oh, the worst part is you can't even jump down here anymore. Oh, No more time saver. We. So let's read that disgusting item description. Oh, let's go to the filing shrine first. And I have to talk to Yuria before, as well. Uh, some things to do before we wrap up this episode, I think. But yeah, let's go uh, and read some items, item descriptions. First, the soul. If you will look at his soul, it looks similar to the soul of the deacons of the deep, uh, afflicted by the deep, I guess. <clears throat> when Aldrich ruminated on the fading of the fire, it inspired visions of a coming age of the deep sea. He knew the path would be ardu arduous, but he had no fear. He would devour the gods himself. And so he did. Currently, probably like three would make the most sense. Okay. Like, what do they imagine this to look like? I mean, I guess we could have, we've already seen how they would imagine it to look like. Because when you're forming a spell, or when you're creating a spell, you probably have to envision how it should look, or how it should look or behave. Like, you're forming it with your mind. Maybe some of the properties of it are given, depending on the kind of magic or miracle you're using. But I, I just imagine you have to form it with your mind. So, I wonder... Like, when we were in the Deacons of the Deep boss fight, and when you wait, they're doing their ultimate move, which should curse you. I think it's a curse, right? It's cursing you. When, when all the blue shit starts happening, like this blue fog is shit, 
I, I guess that's what they like this is part of what they imagine visions of a coming coming age of the deep sea it also kind of reminds me of bloodborne on that matter like the fishing fishing hamlet and i i would really like to play bloodborne or maybe i can if there are good emulators Maybe I can get it to run on my PC, and then maybe, hopefully, um, I can get some 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 things to work so that I, that I don't have to play the game. Actually, that I can cheat my way through the game with invincibility and stuff to talk about certain certain things because I really want to play that game like on this channel, but I don't want to play it on 30 FPS without cheats. That's too that's too difficult for me. Like, I, I can't play that game and talk about stuff on the same time. And I don't want to get stuck on bosses for, like, some time. That's also not fun for these episodes. Um, again, um, not again. Uh, his key item, where is it? Ugh. Cinders of a lord left by... Aldrich, devourer of gods. If the lords will not return to their thrones themselves, let them return as cinders. Aldrich became a lord by devouring men, but was uh, disillusioned with his throne and so took to devouring gods instead. Yeah, disillusioned. Weird word. Let's put him on his throne. Uh, did I put these dudes on it on their thrones? Did I do that? Uh, I did. Uh, getting kind of tired here. Ooh. And it's already. Oh yeah, I know when I'm getting tired. It's like 1:30 a.m. right now. That, that's when I'm getting tired. Let's put him on his throne. Ugh, disgusting. Like, imagine half of your skull is missing because you ate too much. Oh, what a bad day you would have. I wonder if he enjoys that he became a slug or the slug-like creature. Or if it doesn't matter to him. Probably doesn't matter. I mean, he got corrupted by the deep anyway, so... Let's talk to Yuria. Ah, our lord in me. I presume my holy vows are sworn. I guess so. Wonderful. Now thou art the true and deserving Lord of Hollows. With the spouse, the strength to claim the fire is thine. Thy lordship, I prithee wrest the fire from its mantle. I, Uria, and all Londor embrace thy impending lordship. Okay. Oh Lord and me, I prithee play the usurper. When the moment cometh to link the fire, wrest it from its mantle. The age of fire was founded by the old gods, sustained by the linking of the fire. But the gods are no more, and the all powerful fire deserveth a new heir. Our Lord of Hollows, it shall be who weareth the true face of mankind. Mm. Be safe, our Lord and Liege. I prithee rest the flame from its mantle. I wonder now what did that the vow actually do to us because there was this purple smoke right oh, that, but what manifested as purple smoke and what are we what are even our choices when we link the fire um there's one where 
We link the fire. We offer our soul to burn for the fire to create new life. We can tell the firekeeper, hey, I don't want to link the fire yet. Uh, tend to the flame, please. I'm, I'm doing whatever. Then we can do basically the same thing, but I guess kill the firekeeper. Or when, when she wants to tend to the flame, we can just stomp on her head. Like, she was, so she can't tend to the flame. So maybe let it fade at some point, because when she tends to the flame, she keeps it somewhat alive, right? That's what you do. Like, when you have a small fire, you're you're cupping it with your hands, sheltering it from, from wind and, and rain, right? And then maybe... Put a bit more cinder in there to to kindle or is it called kindle like you put more fuel in there like a few branches and stuff maybe she's offering her soul or something to the fire to keep it to keep it burning right uh, it could be the case maybe not um and when we like because in this game you, you can actually stumble on the fire keep at the end right by attacking her i think and that's, I guess, killing her. Let the fire burn out or whatever. And then there's the thing with the hollows. And it feels a bit different because uh, when you offer yourself to the flame by burning, right? Then you're letting your soul, you're letting your soul burn. Um... But now with this vow, with this purple smoke, that's not what happens. Like you're touching the flame, but instead of it burning you, I guess this purple smoke is somehow a, a subduing the flame. So that it's not a... Like, let's just say this is the flame that is left, like this bonfire over here. And... If we would touch it, it would burn us. It would burn our soul and create new life, right? Or oh, giant soul, because we had all these souls here. Right? Uh, then there's the ending where she just takes care of the flame. Then there's the ending where she takes care of the flame, but we interrupt her. We are saying, nope, goodbye. And then there is the ending where we are not summoning her we are touching the flame so it goes into us like we are like it's no longer in front of us but it's like it's trying to burn our soul because we offered ourselves to them but then with the help of the purple shit with the help of the vow that we just did because apparently that's something you can do in this game or do in this world in this in this in this universe whatever Somehow, with the help of the vow, you're subduing the flame, and now it's acting as your power or something. Like it's not burning you, but it's somehow making you maybe even stronger. So that the flame is truly no more. Or something like that. Maybe that's not the case, but that's that would be my my guesses right now. I guess there are some things to do. Um, still, by talking to Latif. Hello. Because we can have a look at Life and Scythe, which is sadly a miracle and not the actual weapon. Because sadly, the way you're casting it, it's utterly useless. The cast time is too long. Uh, it's first rated. Miracle of Aldrich Devourer of Gods steals HP of foes using an illusory scythe. Aldrich dreamt as he slowly devoured the god of the Dark Moon. In his dream, he perceived the form of a young, pale girl in hiding. Mm. Okay, maybe he didn't eat her. But while he was while he was eating while he was eating on uh, or munching on uh, 
on Gwendolyn. He took over his thoughts, as this is why he was dreaming of her, because she was in Gwendolyn's thoughts. Like he was maybe protecting her or whatever, I don't know. Um, well, he, would, he was definitely ordering his painting guardians to guard the painting so that no one could, could intrude, I guess. Mm. And so, because like Priscilla is, like she has the life on Scythe, for some reason, um, he could conjure this one. But still wonder where Nito's blade came from, because that was Nito's blade. Um, then we have the Dark Moon Longbow. Longbow of Dark Moon, Gwendolyn, who was gradually devoured by Aldrich. This golden bow is imbued with powerful magic and is most impressive with Dark Moon arrows. We have the skill Dark Moon Arrow and fuse a, a readied arrow with Dark Moon Essence, granting it, uh, it magic damage and the ability to pierce shields. Eh. Nee. Not that strong. Actually, pretty bad. Like. From a strong being like that, pretty bad drops, pretty bad re bad rewards. I kind of wish when instead of summoning like um, you you've probably played Skyrim or something. I kind of wish this is how how summoning weapons would work, where you can literally summon a weapon in your hand. Right, and instead of, like, let's say you have your staff or it's a miracle, you have your chime or your, your your casting tool of choice in your hand, and you're casting this miracle, then instead of just, I guess, let's buy it. Let me show it to you. Let me show it to you. Like, let's get rid of that shit. Put it in here. Like, instead of doing this, that it's gone, you're summoning this weapon. In the hand, you have this talisman in. Let's say for like two or three minutes or five minutes, whatever, maybe how, as long as you want. And then you have this scythe in your hand. Like, let's say I'm casting it with my left hand, and then I have uh, the life hand scythe in my hand it has the properties of the spell itself and i can two-hand it just like that as well like i would two-hand every normal weapon and it had a move set maybe it slowly drains my fp while i'm swinging with every swing it drains fp or maybe it drains fp gradually as long as the weapon is out i hope that's not the case or what would be cool like the life and scythe, of course, uh, uh, steals HP from the enemies and heals you. But imagine with every weapon that you summon, because there are a few more summon weapons, like the Fair and Flash Sword, or Flash Sword, not Flash, uh, Flash Sword, for example. Imagine you would, with like, it slowly drains your FP, but with every successful hit on an enemy. You regain a bit more FP, so that you have cons you have to fight constantly in order to uh, to maintain your FP. But of course, you say, right? Um, I now have this weapon, but what if I want to get rid of this weapon? Right, because it should be your talisman, but it's not your talisman anymore. It's this weapon, right? That's when you just swap weapons. You can just swap out of it. Maybe it switches back to the talisman or to your second slot before it switches back to your talisman. I don't know. Probably it should probably switch back to the talisman so that if you want to have, let's say this talisman is the scythe and you have a weapon or you have something in this hand as well, this is still your scythe, then you have to press left to get rid of the scythe but you still have the talisman out and then you want to have your board's great hammer that is in the second slot then you have to press again then right that would be my idea of summoning 
certain weaponry that would be cool i would love that feature but i think we are through everything i can i can give the coal to to the blacksmith and i should give her the ashes you take the shit okay gracious let i only no nothing special didn't i give the shit one to her as well at some point um there we have it finally yeah yeah i don't care finally my favorite armor set Uh, oh. Oh, there. It looks so silvery on these pictures. Yeah. The only thing that I don't like is that you can slightly see the neck through the armor. I wish it was just black there. Like the black that you have with this stupid helmet. Do I have it? Oh, I don't. Like the Silver Knight helmet. Wait a second. I'd... Oh. 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 What the? Eh? Wait a second. Like, I'm already ending this episode, but but I have a mod installed, so... Uh, which one is it? Is it that one? Uh, no, that's the wrong one. Uh, that one? That even one? Oh, that's one. Yeah, nice. Uh, nope. Well, it must have been this one then. Right. Yeah, okay, it was the right one to begin with. Let's get this thing here. And... Yeah, there we go. Sorry for that. But I want to use my favorite armor set. I, could have, I guess I could have gotten this earlier, but... Yeah. For the final action, let's give him the coal. Here, eat that. The coal of that peaceable giant. Yes. Seems like ages past. I imagine his passing was long ago. I wonder how he survived that long time. My thanks. I'll be sure this coal is put to good use. I mean, he outlived a giant. Never a foreseen by the likes of ye. It's but a small service to pay my humble respects. <laughs> and I went can infuse more. Oh well. Um, I just made out of a very small, well, fairly small rest of an area a two hour episode. I'm very proud of that achievement. Um, I hope you had fun. And. I see you in the next one. I think next time we're going into the uh, what's it called? Into the jail. Until then, ah, uh, I should say goodbye, right? So, goodbye.